Today we're going to talk a little bit about this device. See if you can catch this because it's the Amazon description. Kingston Nucleum USB-C Hub 7-in-1 Type-C Adapter Hub Connect USB 3.0 4K HDMI SD and micro SD card USB Type-C charging for MacBook, Chromebook and other USB Type-C devices. That mouthful is what we're going to talk about today. This right here is that crazily named device. This is what I use with my iPad Pro to help it um, just be more functional, right? It's a dongle town, dongle city. Um, for any Mac device at this point, really, you need to have a lot of dongles to get it all working. So that's what I've got right here. This does all the dongles, I suppose, really. It does everything I need, everything I need when I'm sitting in my office anyways. So what this has on it is right here, it's got a USB-C port for charging. That's where I put the USB-C cable that came with my device. It's got USB-A on it. Uh, I use that to actually plug into a hub, which I'll talk about in a bit. There's another USB Type-C, which is for another device. There's a second USB-A, and then uh, and those are both 3.0 speed. And it's got a micro SD and an SD card. And that right there is what helps me um, just connect my iPad to everything when I come into the office. Now, one thing, if you'll notice how short this cord is, and think my iPad stands up and it flops out. So the other thing that I use for this is this, what is that, I guess a foot and a half USB Type-C cable from Ugreen. Um, I'll get you the full name. It's got another one of those like crazy names, and it's a Type-C male to Type-C female. And I use that. This is what actually plugs into my iPad. You can see it's kind of got the bend in it because it goes like this, plugs into the iPad, and then it goes back to the USB-C hub, which sits on my desk. And that's how I operate my desk, really. Um, I use that. And what I do with the hub is the hub goes into a USB Type 3 hub, which goes into uh, really only one other device at the moment, although I guess I could put a, my second device in it. Um, so right now what it goes to is it goes to my... Uh, wireless headset. My wireless headset is in the hub, and my wireless headset is an old, I think they call it a Steel Series H. It's their Steel Series wireless headset. It's really nice. It's not the hot swappable battery one. Mine dies when you pull out the battery, but the new one has hot swappable batteries in it. Super light. I've had it for years now. I reviewed it on an old site a couple years ago. Let's see if I can find a link for that. Uh, it was on It's Quality Gear, the Steel Series um, wireless H, I think I called it. But I don't think mine's that. Mine's not the current one. It's an older generation. Same, looks the same though. Um, and the reason I put that into a hub and then I plug it into that device is that the few times that I use my computer, I can grab the hub, the cable for the hub, pull it out of this one, just plug it into my MacBook Air, and I'm off to the races. I don't have to, like that moves everything that I need over. Now the other device that I could add to this hub that I probably should try adding to the hub, um, but there'll be an issue with iOS is, my blue snowball for the times I do podcasting. Now, the issue with iOS is that I cannot choose my sound source. So if I want to be using, last time I've done this, when I wanted to use my blue snowball as the sound source instead of the headset, I actually had to unplug the headset box. So my headset has a special box, little box that plugs into it that communicates between the headset wirelessly and that box. So there's no lag on the headset, which is nice. Uh, good for audio work. But that also meant that um, I had to unplug that box. And I could just do that. Like I'd unplug it, pull the cable up, stick the box on top. And then the headset would be unplugged and it would say, okay, we're using the blue snowball now as your audio source, as an external audio source. But without doing that, and again, one of the limitations of iOS is that I can't really do anything with it then. Um, or I can't choose my audio sources. I just get whatever one thinks I should be using. Um, the easiest way I found to do that is to switch to Ferrite and Ferrite will list what audio source it's using. And so that's what I'll do even before a call. I'll just hop into Ferret quickly and make sure that, yes, I am, in fact, using the headset. Because there's no other way to really tell what you're using. Ferrite just happens to have that. Um, unlike Mac OS, where you can just, like, grab a menu and, like, choose your sound sources. So, yeah, that's it. That's how I make my iPad Pro usable um, when I'm at my desk. Now, there are two other USB-C things that I do use regularly. One is this Logix. Uh, type C, um, so type C into my iPad, 
and it's got SD and micro SD on it. And use that when I'm importing video, importing audio up from somewhere else, or not importing audio, importing video really, out of my GoPro with the micro SD or off this camera, my 60D with the SD card. Those I use that when I'm up and about, when I want to import video from somewhere in the house. And the other thing I use, this is not the exact one, but this is out of the same batch. These come in three cable sizes. It's like a foot, I think it's a foot, three feet, and like six feet. So I use a six foot one regular, I have the six foot one actually plugged into my desk for when I'm using um, Luna Display. Uh, I'll talk about Luna Display in a future video, and that way I can plug, just grab it off the corner of my desk. It's clipped with like a binder clip off to the side, I just slide it up, plug it into my iPad, and then my iPad has a direct wired connection to my MacBook Air. I also keep a long one, long, I think it's the longest version, in my backpack all the time. And I use that to interface with my battery, so that's USB-A to USB-C to any of my USB-A chargers around the house because I don't really only have, I have one USB-C brick. I have no external power that's USB-C except for whatever came with my iPad. And that's plugged in under my desk because honestly the rest of the time I just don't need it. I've even actually stopped carrying my battery out and about with me for the day because it has plenty of battery for the day. I just don't need it, which is great. Um, and these are, I can't even pronounce this, it's like Jan Han. There'll be a link in the description about the cables. They're great. Actually, I got two sets of these because I needed long ones and I figured that I'm only going to have more USB-C devices and USB-C to A. I have like 12 or 13 USB-A bricks. I've got, you know, I've got um, a power bar, six outlets, four USB-A on it. I've got lots of USB-A around and I'm getting a few USB-C devices. Actually, I have two now. I have my iPad and my GoPro charger. Um, so, that's it. I know those are the three devices. That's the three, four things that I really use to make my iPad useful to me in the office, um, to do USB-C when I'm out and about. And yeah, that's it. I don't even know if I'd need these if I only had like one station to work from with my iPad uh, all the time. And I say most of the time I don't need a battery. Every once in a while I'm doing a lot of video work in the afternoon or something. I've been out and about and then I want to be upstairs doing something. I'll you know pull a brick out of our charging drawer upstairs and then I'll put it in the wall and I will charge my iPad while I'm just upstairs in the house. But even then, that's more because I don't like to see it drop below 50%. At 50%, I'm just like, ah, why is my iPad so low? So instead of letting it drop below 50%, I just plug it in. It's never run out of battery on me. I've never been like edging into the last like 10% of the battery. I don't even think I've seen the battery warning. 12.9 inch iPad Pro, tons of battery in it, lasts all day in my use. Even with video editing, it lasts like I get hours out of video editing. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, you can make sure you don't miss any by subscribing below. Make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get notifications if you like notifications. Although, I gotta be honest, I hate them. If you'd like to support the channel, like to make sure that the videos keep coming, that the content keeps coming, you can support me on patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Have an awesome day.